Okay, hello, hello, Tyler Bryden here. I hope everything is going well. Following AI, I think this is an interesting, exciting announcement. I am a little bit partial to this announcement because it's a team that I've been following for quite a while, and that is Cohere. Cohere, with a $270 million Series C to bring generative AI to enterprises. And I think one of the exciting pieces about this is who are the investors who are participating in this round? Anovia Capital, uh, a great investor leading the round, doing really big investments from early stage all the way through the journey. And then we've got NVIDIA here, we've got Salesforce, we've got Oracle. And so this is quite a group. There had been rumors about Cohere taking this investment from Google at one point, and I think there is a relationship there. But interestingly, they made a big investment in Anthropic, and I'm not sure exactly what happened there, if there was a bet made on one horse or just positioning or whatever, it didn't exactly make sense. But that does not take away anything from the investors that Cohere has brought on in, in this Series C, which... For many companies, Series C, these later round stages have been very difficult to do in this macro environment and a high interest rate environment. Cohere going through this fundraising journey for quite a while, but being able to cut through that noise and obviously in a space of generative AI where they can pull this off. The other part I think that's interesting is that they are more working on the, I guess what some people would call the infrastructure layer of the generative AI movement, as in they're building models from scratch, which you can hook into and use, much like OpenAI's GPT, Anthropics, I believe Claude model, and then A21, a bunch of more companies. I There's another company that raised uh, about 20 million uh, and came out of stealth yesterday. And so this infrastructure layer is what some people believe is going to be where a lot of the value is created and captured. Some people have even gone further beyond that and said it's actually the chip manufacturers like NVIDIA who are going to capture this value. So it's interesting and I think meaningful that NVIDIA has put investment into Cohere. They're obviously seeing signals of something successful on the way. And from my own journey of following them and connected to some of their team on LinkedIn, I've had the pleasure to connect and meet some of them. Very talented, technically savvy team. And then just overall, a quickly growing team that continues to build, I think, a moat of talent, which is where some of this valuation is coming from. Aiden Gomez, uh, who I've talked about in previous videos, CEO and co-founder, he was one of the researchers on the paper, Attention is All You Need, and was really a foundational paper on transformer models, which has come to be one of the guiding forces in this movement of generative AI using transformers to build large language models and really just change the world in such a meteoric way. Now, one of the statements about Cohere was that they were flying under the radar was the sort of terminology that was used. I believe that was from Aiden. And with this announcement, I think brings more attention to this company. Now, it's a competitive space. It's going to continue to be competitive. I think they've raised about $445 million to date from C to Series C here now, which is a lot of money, but also comparatively even to other players in the space is, yeah. I think we think of this being so much money, but at the level that they're doing with the technical talent, obviously there's a cost there. And then there is a true cost to training these models, building them from scratch. So that money can go pretty quickly. And we are seeing a growing list of customers. I'm really interested and fascinated to know, okay, where are they in this stage of sort of sales and truly building this into a revenue generating engine. Some of the announcements that we've seen from companies seem much more to be on, not go here, but even this company that came out, out of stealth, very much like pilot stage with the companies that they're working at. And so there's a big difference between, I think a technical Lee savvy team building really good models and then a revenue producing engine that can become you know, ideally a self-sustaining company now because of the excitement the energy in the space maybe that's not required now or even in the future there's i see spotify on here that's they're still not a, a profitable company but the support is there and the product is so good that it doesn't necessarily matter or take away from their success 
in the market and in the world. And a couple other things that I've seen over time from Cohere has been a little bit more now. They do have four developers, and obviously that's a huge part of enterprise adoption. But it does seem to make a little, I wouldn't even call it a pivot, but a focus towards the enterprise. You can see that on their site with the rebrand of their site and update of this, the enterprise LOM. And you can see that even in the messaging of the press release about this investment and the Series C round. So really a couple things that are sticking out. I think it's key messages of what we're seeing. And you can't talk about these things without thinking about OpenAI as obviously like the, the darling child of this space right now. But there are critiques around how secure are these deployment options. This is obviously what some of the messaging that Cohere is giving. Customizable models being another one. And then also talking about customer support, which when you're doing transformations in the business at this large of a scale, bringing on novel technology, obviously a super important part of that journey. And Cohere wants to make sure that enterprises who are adopting their technology and working with their team, that that support is there. Now, there have been some really interesting papers around evaluation of models, which Cohere has actually performed really well. And I think that's a very big statement and it shows that the technical talent is there. And they've also, I think, done a lot better job of building educational content, that foundation that is needed to grow a business and keep that momentum going as you move forward. Now, I have mentioned my love for them, the fact of them having a Toronto office. That's a base. It seems like it's a hybrid company that got places in London, Palo Alto as well too. Obviously, Palo Alto being a great connection to the venture capital community, which participated in this round. And then London. Uh, I don't know exactly why London, but cool place and great to see that there's offices there. And I guess part of this is being in in Europe or in the area of Europe and starting to build that team, the time zone over there and just the capacity to sell into that geographical region. One of the value propositions of Cohere being multilingual. And that has been one of the big initiatives that they've taken on in their product development, recently introducing Aya. Ayahuasca, I like the name, an open science initiative to accelerate multilingual AI progress, which, you know, global adoption of this technology, obviously important for the benefits of it and a commercial interest with that too. Now, leading up to um, an announcement of a funding round, it does seem that there's always seems to be a delay of when that funding is um, executed and when the announcement is actually made. And during that time, I think there were some signals from some of the initiatives that they had pulled on and even I would say new positions of hiring, seeing more people join the team on LinkedIn, all of those sort of were signals to me. I think that they have actually gone through this investment round successfully. The sort of words and murmurs had started in early 2023. We're now six months in, the job postings continue to grow, the team continues to grow. They're doing more rebrands, they're doing more initiatives, all those signals that they have successfully achieved something and it could just be they're completing that round in totality or they have some sort of a strategic plan and initiative to release this all at the same time in a strategic way. Anyways, that signal was there. And if we look at Cohere on LinkedIn, we can see the growth from June, 2021, 35 employees to now 269 employees with 2% last month and in two years, 669% growth. So I'm guessing we're going to see this continue. There's been some major hires that they've brought onto the team, one notably from YouTube and a very interesting, exciting company to follow. Now, a couple other things that I think may be relevant for you if you are interested in this, they do have a Discord channel. I was interested, I just checked it out. I don't, I don't use Discord that much, but they hadn't even officially announced this in their Discord channel. So I'm interested to see that announcement. They're mostly focused on, I think, fostering the community there and building relationships with the people who are building on the product. But I'll drop a link in here if I can, and you can join the Discord if you are interested in following them. And you can also check out the site. Now, I have an account. I've got my dashboard here. 
There is a wait list coming from what appears to be their chat product, Coral. Interesting name. They're an interesting team, just like their one co-founder, Nick Frost, is in a band. It seems like very talented and they're a little, just they have a personality, which I like. I like following them on Twitter. I've got a couple of them linked here and I find that to be a compelling part of the team and unique from sometimes maybe lifeless robots that we see building companies. There is the playground, there's tutorials. I'm in the playground here. I'm not gonna do anything crazy in this video. There's a generate capability and they've separated this classify there's embeddings, which is basically indexing the text, the material that you have, so you can query it and interact with it in different ways. And then there's also a beta and summarization, which from talking to people on their team and just seeing it in our own work at Speak AI, obviously summarization, a very valuable and practical and I think understandable use case for these LLMs and just the generative AI space in, as a whole. I do think summary is not enough and very use case or industry specific outputs are required. Now, I've linked a couple other things on customer support. We've also got pricing, which I think they continue to change, figure out how to do. They continue to be competitive in this, but I believe possibly a bit more expensive than what you're interacting with OpenAI, which obviously is using their investment as a competitive advantage to acquire market share, make their product sticky and give you more usage, but overall cohere with the quality of their models and the pricing of their models. It's still one of the most accessible versions of these technologies. Obviously there is an interesting open source evolving that is happening in this space that I'm interested to see. How does this impact Cohere moving forward? How does this impact any of the private companies who are operating in this space? But with the talent, with the team that they have, I think these are very smart people who will continue to figure out how do you differentiate and how do we continue to build value through the model that they're operating in. I am happy for Cohere. I congratulate you. It's a super exciting milestone. $270 million is a lot of money and, and also not a lot of money, as I said, but I think they've made some huge strides in their time already. And I'm excited to see what they do with the more gas on the fire. I love that there's a Canadian presence from the company here. I think that's super exciting and brings credibility to Canada as a whole in technology and innovation. And that's something I'm always happy to see. So Cohere, good luck on everything. I'm continuing to follow. If you are interested in the space, following these companies, following this announcement of Cohere, we'd love to hear what you think. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for checking this out.